Have you ever wanted to create worksheets or handouts for your students? If so, this tool is perfect for you. This free AI tool called Diffit is going to generate it in seconds with a single click of a button. You can use Diffit for any subject or topic you're teaching. Let's say I'm teaching a class of seventh graders about the Louisiana Purchase. All I have to do is type that in and I can specify my grade level. Click the green Generate Resource button and there you have it. It's an entire handout with the reading passage tailored to your grade level, a bullet point summary, a list of vocabulary words, multiple choice questions, short answer questions, and open-ended discussion prompts. Now I'll tell you a little bit more about each section. For the reading passage on this topic, you can see the exact sources that were used to generate the text. Next we have the summary, and you can edit or copy any of these sections. And anytime you see these three green stars, such as the vocabulary words, that means that you could generate more automatically using AI. We could do the same for multiple choice. You could specify the type of questions here that you want. So here I'm going to choose extended thinking, and I want a total of five multiple choice questions. I'm going to click generate, and here they are. You can scroll to reveal the correct answers as well. Below we have our short answer questions with simple answers and various settings to choose from, and our open ended prompts really encourages your students to think a bit deeper. Once you're satisfied with all of these resources, you can go up to the page and there are several settings for sharing and translating. One of the great things about AI tools is that they can translate it to different languages for students whose English may be their second language, or maybe you're a language teacher, you could definitely use this option. In terms of sharing, you have the option to print this out or save this as a PDF. But personally, the coolest thing about Diffit is that you can export it to Google Docs and Google Forms. When you export it to Google Docs, you have several options. I'll show you what the printable version looks like. As you can see, it has all the content and it's super well formatted. I love how they have lines for your students to simply write in their responses. And since this is a Google Doc, you can make edits to adjust the format and the wording before you print it out. Next, I'll show you the digital template. It basically looks the same as the printable version, but on the bottom, instead of having lines, students can type their answers into the box. This can also be exported to Google Classroom, and each student can have their own version. Finally, I'll show you what it looks like with Google Forms. The top section includes the reading and vocab, but what I love is the assessment section. When you click on any of the multiple choice questions, you'll see that the correct answer has already been selected for you. So you don't have to copy and paste and do any of that. On the bottom, for the open-ended questions, students can simply input their text. Because this is a Google form, you could delete certain sections or add new ones. For instance, you can include videos and images. I think that for this topic, perhaps a picture of the map of the Louisiana Purchase could be quite fitting. So I can include that super easily. And there you go. All you have to do is share this form with your students. Now let's head back to Diffit. You could create these resources using any topic of your choice as we just did. Or you can even input an article, like a current event. In a third section, you can give it any text or excerpt. And this is perfect for my English teachers. You can simply give it a text, like the Telltale Heart, and click Generate. You can even do this with a section from a textbook. And in a matter of seconds, you created a handout full of resources and reading comprehension questions. Once you're done creating your resources, keep in mind that you can click My Resources at the top to go back to them and they're all automatically saved. And that's it for this Diffit tutorial. I highly recommend you check it out and I'll include the link in the description below. If you found this video helpful and you want to explore more AI tools, feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. We also have a free weekly newsletter for more resources like these. Thank you for watching.